Folks, we've got a real treat for you coming up at the end of the show. Teddy Helton is actually going to say something. Well, he's not going to say something. He's going to sing something, so stay tuned for that. And we got another real treat for you right now, my good friend Chris Rector. How you doing, Chris? Just fine. How you doing, Tim? I'm doing good. Like I said earlier, he's one of my favorite photographers. And you do a lot of work throughout the birthplace of country music region. Uh, some of my favorite work I've seen is your still photography. Some of it's in, behind us here. And uh, during our conversation here, uh, Brennan is going to edit in some of your slides from uh, the wonderful work that you do with your still camera. And then also, in addition to that, Chris videotapes at the Carter Family Fold each week. And uh, you can see some of his work at carterfoldshow.com, carterfoldshow.com. And uh, you do the videotaping over there for how many years now? I think since the end of 2007. Been that long? Yes. Okay, and then he's been, for many years, uh, videotaping. A one camera shoot, it's phenomenal what you can do with just that one camera. But he works it, he, he has a passion for his work, and you also videotape every Monday night the ACMA Pick and Porch at 620 State Street on the second floor of the Foundation Event Facility. And how long have you been videotaping those Pick and Porches? I actually started about the same time I did started the uh, Carter Fold. And, you know, you take every week for eight years. That's a lot of footage. It's a lot of shows. It's just right around 100 shows a year yeah. when you combine the two. And, uh, you know, videotaping, it's part of the work. Then you take it back and you have to do the editing. Right. I know Brennan, our producer here, knows all about that, and <laughs> Ray Deerstone, our sound man. We appreciate Ray and Brennan and all the folks at BTN that make this happen, too. Tell us a, a little bit. Now, you've done everything from CD covers for area bands to the still photography. You have a website. What? Let's hit that right off. What's your website? Imagesofbluegrass.com. Imagesofbluegrass.com. Go take a look. You've got a gallery there folks can look at, right? Yes, uh-huh. And uh, you live over in Kingsport right now. I do. And you're originally from Bristol, you said. Yes, I was born in Bristol. Which side of the state line? Tennessee. Tennessee side, right here in Bristol, Tennessee. Uh, who were some of the, let's just back up and talk about the uh, CD covers. Who are some of the folks you worked CD covers for recently? Uh, the, the last ones, I've done the last three uh, Paul Williams and the Victor Trio. And I... Uh, See, one that was satisfied, just a little closer home, and the first one was was the just a little closer to home. And uh, the last one I did was their last one they did uh, before Paul retired, and that was uh, staying in the old time way. Talk about uh, some some of your favorite still photography that you've done. Uh, one of my favorite ones is uh, from the first Song of the Mountains of Anthony Bell's. Uh, on the mandolin and he's got his head tilted down like this and he's got on a cowboy hat and he's got his mandolin pulled up and he's pulling you can see him pulling tone mm -hmm. and uh, I've, I've seen that photograph wonderful photo and uh, that's one of my favorite ones my other one is uh, the one of Jeanette Carter uh, it was the last time she opened up the second half of the show with the Carter fold mm -hmm. and um, matter of fact I wasn't even shooting it and I just had my gear there and I saw Turned around, she was up on the stage, and they had her picks back on her fingers, and she was just sitting there. And right before they pulled her up to the mic, I ran and got the camera out quick because I knew I had to get that. Mm -hmm. So that was. And one you've of those. got another one of my favorites with Jeanette Carter's hands. Just yeah, her hands. Is that the one you're that's talking the about? One, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And then I know you've shot numerous ones of Jeanette, I, I you know, uh, sitting there in the chair. But uh, yeah, you you were talking about the one that I'm referring to yes. uh, the ones of her hands with the picks on yes yeah the, the, this is a great shot who, who are some of the other or what are some of the other uh, favorites that you've got uh one of uh bobby osborne at uh they were he was actually uh it was one of the first shows i saw of bobby uh, bobby osborne and rocky top express and uh, that was the f uh, first time that Derek dickens had played with them locally and it was at john battle high school mm-hmm and uh, that's one of my favorite ones. Um, my, one of my other favorites uh, is Rhonda Vincent's bus that parked out in front of the Lincoln Theater. Up in Marion. Uh, yeah, the mm -hmm. first taping she did was Song of the Mountains. And uh, when I saw it, it was right before the show started, and I ran and spent about probably 15, 20 minutes photographing that, uh, doing timed exposures to get the correct shot. 
and, and I just was going to do that for self promotion and uh, end up doing another photo for her on stage in front of a packed house for a press release that following Monday morning. Where at? Where was that? At the Lincoln Theater at the, Lincoln. To, at the uh, Song of the Mountains. And that was, uh, I made sure when I had to go onto the, her bus to show her to download some of those photos for the press release, I actually had the bus photo already pulled up. I hadn't done anything to it yet, but it still looked good. She just, fell in love with yeah, it, didn't she? Because yeah. I... As soon as she saw it, she looked at me and she said, I think Martha White will buy that. And they did. And they did. Yeah. Uh, they used it uh, in a two-page ad for their uh, schedule for that next year mm -hmm. in Bluegrass and Limpton. That's great. And uh, you've, you've done photography work. I know uh, when, I'm, when I do have a little bit of spare time, I paint on canvas. And you shoot all of my canvases once I get them finished. Uh, you, you set them up and you light them correctly and you shoot my canvases and um, I archive them that way too. So you've got a lot of talent in a lot of different areas. I sure do. And uh, God's given you a lot of good talent, hasn't yes. he? Appreciate what you do for the Picking Porch on Monday nights. Uh, a lot of the bands end up saying, I want a copy of that, and uh, they can approach you about getting copies of their shows. The Carter Family Fold the same way. Remember, carterfoldshow.com, I think it's like five bucks to, to go on and view for about a week those proceeds go to the Carter family fold. I want to thank James Bryant for uh, doing that and having that idea years ago, just like James Bryant did. He owns Bryant Label Company in Blountville. James had the idea for the pick and porch too, but he doesn't like getting in front of a camera, so we, we'll just have to brag on James. Yeah, Actually, it's 10 for the subscription. Is it 10 now for yeah, the subscription? That's still any, a bargain. Oh, yeah, you can watch any show that's on there. And I have, and There's a bunch. So there's a lot of shows. Yeah, so carterfoldshow.com. Uh, you've also done some work in our museum, our Mountain Music Museum at 626 State Street. And one of the things you did a few years ago was our uh, Echoes of the Blue Ridge documentary of the work of the ACMA. And it includes the Carter Family Fold, Larry Sparks, the late, great James Allen Shelton, Dan Boner from East Tennessee State University. Uh, who else? Who, Jack Toddles in it. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of folks. And it's, it's an archive of the music of our region and you can either watch the 40 minute version or the 90 minute version. It's on the same disc and you can pick those up at the Mountain Music Museum and gift shop, 626 State Street in Bristol, Tennessee. And that was really, it, you know, I believe I was saying about that the other day, it may be time to do another one. Yes. Because that was what, five, six years ago? Five, six years ago. And that one uh, took it from the, um, beg the British Isles all the way to present day mm -hmm. and uh, built it built it up all the way up to the Bristol sessions and then and then talked showed the uh what's going on present day country music progress. Well, Chris Rector, thank you for being my guest. Uh give us that website one more time for the folks who want to go look at your gallery. It's imagesofbluegrass.com. Imagesofbluegrass.com and we're going to let uh if if Brennan would like to play a little music and show some of the uh images of bluegrass for the next 30 seconds or so and then we're going to have Teddy Helton, the Flash, the man that is known for the salamander dance, patented that. He's going to be on here actually singing on Bristol's front porch. Enjoy. <laughs> 